Hello, my name is Jessie McCann, and today I'm going to pitch you my idea for a restaurant, The Veg Table. Just a disclaimer, I do not have group members, and therefore I made this project by myself and will be presenting alone. Thank you. This is my restaurant, The Veg Table. We are a certified gluten-free restaurant, and all of our menu choices have the option to be vegetarian. We value community, and we want everyone to feel welcome to dine with us. This picture is our logo. Our theme. The Vegetable is a cafe, restaurant, bakery that offers a la carte service. As I stated before, we are fully gluten-free and everything on the menu has the option to be vegetarian. We strive to be an allergy-friendly restaurant so everyone feels comfortable to dine with us. We value community and the importance of sharing a meal with friends and family to build long-lasting relationships. We do not have a specific seating plan, but rather the guests will choose their own seat and are provided table service. Our hope is that our space will be multifunctional offering a great place for a, a workspace for individuals to a place where friends or couples want to meet up to a place for group gatherings and celebration. Our mission. We are a community-centered design. This means the focal point of our restaurant is a large, beautiful communal table. We remove TVs and loud music. We offer board games and card games for our guests to enjoy while they wait. Our biggest factor in creating this restaurant is to include everyone, offering a gluten-free, allergen-friendly, and dietary freedom-based kitchen and menu means that we are able to include a wide range of people and their dietary restrictions and preferences. We want all to feel welcome and not to feel the stress of being unable to get a good meal from the menu like everyone else. This is important to me because I am gluten-free and dairy-free myself. And I always struggle going to restaurants and cafes with friends and family because it is not always easy to get a good meal. Everybody says, why can't you have a salad? But who really wants a salad every time they go out? Not me. I know. I am tired of the classic side salad and chicken breast or the other classic pasta with red sauce. At the veg table, I want people who are like me to feel comfortable dining with us and getting a proper exciting meal out without the stress of the classic order of being contaminated and getting sick. The name of our restaurant is the veg table. The main word in our name is table. This is reflective of our communal table and also welcoming everyone to join us and have a seat at our table. For our operation specifics, we are open Tuesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We have two meal periods, lunch from 10 to 1 and dinner from 4 to 10. In the morning, we will have a coffee bar and fresh bakery items. In, the, in between, from 1 to 4, the kitchen will be closed to prepare for dinner, and only the bakery, front of house items, and drinks will be available. In the evening hours, our coffee bar will convert into a full service bar. Our wait staff will be highly trained in allergy protocol to ensure no cross-contamination for the safety of our guests. We have well-trained staff in both front and back of house. We also want to help our community as much as we want to welcome them. To do so, our staff will encompass a wide variety of ages. The wait staff will be dressed professional but casually with white shirts, light blue aprons, and dark pants like this picture attached on the side. We will have a full staff with two managers, two assistant managers, front and back of house, four chefs, two bakers, four prep cooks, two line cooks, and we will have five high school students on staff at a minimum. We will be crew members. They will do dishes, running out orders, bar back, busters, and assist where needed. We will also have five college students who will serve and barista slash bartend. Our staff has a wide skill set. The manager, chef, and baker's position will must have good experience and skills. The rest of the staff will not have any specific skill requirement, and we will train on site. We use local ingredients and actively participate in community give back programs, whether that be donating money, catering, allowing the use of our space, and spending time with staff and volunteering. The interior of our restaurant has a main focal point of a large communal table. The art on the walls will be features from artists in the city and they will be for sale and will change periodically. The decor will be bright bohemian themed with wood and greenery accents. The photo on the right is, an, is of our interior decor. The exterior of the vegetable will have a large art piece slash mural type wall to draw attention and attraction and also be a photo feature. The photo on the left is an example of one exterior wall mural done by a local artist that can bring tourists to enjoy. Geographical information. Our restaurant is located in Toronto. We chose the Danforth area because it is close to the beaches and has lots of families. It is more of a residential area, but not far from downtown Toronto. The Danforth is a popular area to go eat and shop. It is made up of more urban hip styles that would fit our restaurant theme well. We also have a streetcar stop right at the front of our door, which helps show the community our storefront. It also means that we are right on the TTC, which is the Toronto Transit System, so we are easy to access. 
The population on our block is 577. The average age is 36. The biggest age population is between 35 to 49, which means that they are most likely to have settled down and have more disposable income to spend on our restaurant. The most common language is English with 72%. The demographics are good and we feel strongly that the location will provide well for our business. Next, I would like to show you our menu. This is our cover page. It shows our logo, mission statement, and information. This is the first page of our menu. It shows the appetizers and also the apple tarts. Apple tarts is something I created. It's a fun new idea to showcase tarts. Gluten-free phyllo pastry with the fillings of choice. It has five to six servings and is a fun twist on the usual appetizers. Since we love the idea of community, we thought couples or groups could order a few appetizers and apple tarts for their meal to share. We also wanted our appetizers and appetites to be easily shareable. This is the second page of our menu. This showcases our soups and our salads and our entrees. In the middle it says we are a certified gluten-free restaurant. All choices, our menu choices have the option to be vegetarian. We value community and we want to, everyone to feel welcome to dine with us. We chose this specific location on the menu because of our new psychology. Typically, people open the menu and their eyes first to go to the middle of the second page. This is the last page of our menu. It is the dessert menu, but also shows our bakery items. Since we are a cafe, rest of our bakery, we wanted to showcase our bakery items. Fresh daily, always available from 1 a.m. to 10, to 1 p.m. Sorry, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. We rotate through a selection of baked goods daily. I wanted to include a picture of what our whole menu looked like. For those of you who are like me, I'd like to see the whole complete picture. Some marketing and promotional information. We always want to promote our catering. We feel it is important to spread the word about our restaurant. We love our slogan, are you providing the table? Try our catering and takeaway. We want to put these signs up as much in our restaurant as we can and advertise as much as we can. We want people to be able to reserve our communal table so they can plan meetings, parties, and gatherings. So groups over four may reserve the table. Also, we can be found on Instagram and Facebook at The Veg Table. If patrons tag us in our post, they will receive two for one apps upon their next visit. Next, I want to give you a little insight of our favorite dishes. This is the hot and crunchy avo fries, avocado slivers, breaded in gluten free panko, chili powder, and served in a yogurt sauce. A crowd favorite. This is one of our apple tarts I was telling you about before. Carrot with almond and ricotta tart. This deliciously colorfully savory tart is filled with tangy goat cheese, creamy ricotta, nutrient loaded spinach, a touch of seasonings, and fresh herbs topped with spice roasted carrots. All of our salads can be served with grilled chicken breast or grilled tofu. Our favorite salad, apple walnut with pomegranate vinaigrette spinach and garden greens with raw walnuts, strawberries, and apples with pomegranate vinaigrette. Our entrees, the first burger. The first burger, the portobello mushroom burger. Portobello mushroom top served with caramelized onions and grilled zucchini. For our dessert, our customers can order any of our available bakery items, but those are not always guaranteed to be available past 1 p.m. There Four, we offer four desserts on our full menu. This is my personal favorite, sticky date pudding with toffee drizzle. A rich, smooth as silk pudding with a warm toffee drizzle and a generous dollop of coconut whipped cream. We also have many bakery items, but this is my favorite. It is only available Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's ooey gooey cinnamon buns. For the next portion, of my presentation, I will show you my recipe and costing cards. It's always important to know this part when you're running a restaurant, but not always the most exciting part. Just a disclaimer, this portion costs are the exact amount that it costs the restaurant to prepare this dish, not the actual cost for the customer. First is the portobello mushroom burger. This is my recipe card. To just explain the costing card for you here, the amount, unit, and ingredient name is over on the left hand side. The method for making this dish is on the bottom. This is, this is my costing card for the Portobello Burger. It is $4.02 per portion. In total, to make 12 portions, it costs me $48.28. So 
This is pretty self-explanatory when looking at my card. With my yield factor calculations, net cost, and recipe cost, I figure out the totals. After I have them, I add them together to get my subtotal. Finally, I add my Q factors to get the total. Next is my chef's choice burger. This is the standard recipe. The chef will, of the night will add their favorite toppings on top of the standard ones listed. Here is the costing card for the burger. For eight portions, the cost is $19.27. Cost per portion is $2.41. To save time, I will not go into the next three recipe costing card or cost of cards. This is the chicken taco standard recipe. Cost per portion is three dollars and fifty cents. We talked about we talked about these before. This is the hot and crunchy avo fries. Cost per portion is one dollar and forty five cents. Lastly, here is my recipe card for the crunchy stuffed cremini mushrooms. Cost per portion is two dollars and twenty seven cents. All in all, the veg table is gluten free, allergen friendly, and a freedom based kitchen, and we want to invite everyone to join us at our table. We thank you for listening and we hope you're having a great day. Thanks again. Goodbye.